I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK. Um, welcome to all my subscribers. Thank you for your comments. Um, thank you for your encouragement. Uh, thank you for your advice. And um, yeah, I just thought today, until I get some um, spicy bits of news to discuss, I would talk about some general things that kind of affect all of us. Well, maybe not all, but some. Um, so I wanted to talk about living vicariously through others. People might say, what the hell is that? Well, it's like when people, um, it's, it's not about pride in someone else's achievements. And it's not about envying somebody else's achievements. But it's like you are taking on um, those, those for other people's accomplishments as your own it's usually close members of your family and you have a sense of pride and it could be mistaken as feeling proud of your um, relatives or somebody that you know but some people do it through footballing some people do it through all different kinds of measures so I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to give you an example um, I used to work at a very prestigious organization in the U in the United States. And uh, my mother always used to, I'd say, boast, be proud. Um, and I, well, I assume she was very proud of my accomplishments. She was. You know, she'd be telling everybody what I'm doing, what I've achieved. She's, my daughter's got a house. She's got this job. She's doing this. She's going to this country. She's going to that country. And for anyone listening, it sounded like she had a sense of pride. Because what she would be doing is telling them everything that I was doing. And, you know, and, you know, the people who live vicariously, it's almost as though they have something to do with it. And she does have something to do with it because she brought me into this world um, and she more or less, um, but she didn't have any say in the decisions I made, any lifetime decisions. She didn't have any say in it. So the decisions I make, I made them off my own back due to my experiences at that time. But when she knew I was coming back, her whole demeanour changed. She no longer could tell her friends what the great um, Black Bright was doing because the reality of who her daughter was, which was just a regular, regular woman, was coming back. And she said, oh, what are you coming back for? Why, why don't you stay over there? Because while I was out of the way, she could build up this dream and all these aspirations and all of these things that she probably wanted for me anyway, but she wouldn't be able to live through that story anymore. So when people live vicariously through another person, it's almost like they take on that person's achievements, their ambitions, their dreams, and they take it on for themselves because normally what they have for themselves isn't very much. You'll find that people do it with friends. Oh, my friend's got a beautiful house. It's got this, it's got that, it's got this, you know. She's doing this, she's doing that, you know. And it's almost like I have something to do with it because she's my friend. You see what I mean? And, you know, you can do it even through children, but there's a difference between having a pr being proud of your children and recognizing the achievements of your children without taking on their successes as your own. So I hope I've made that clear about what living vicariously through someone else means. Um, I just wanted to um, say that the term I have actually researched about, the technical definition um, is finding satisfaction in being a part of someone else's accomplishments. Um, living vicariously from others' time happens from time to time, but when it becomes our only source of experiencing fulfillment in life, it can be a dangerous path, especially if the individual isn't doesn't recognize their own achievements regardless of how small they don't see about they don't see what they've done as having any consequence living vicariously 
It refers to living life through someone else's experiences rather than being a part of the event themselves. It requires immersing ourselves in someone else's world and emotionally or mentally making their achievements and setbacks our own. It lets us experience reward without having to risk failure. We can tap into the feeling of achievement without having to put the work in. Uh, what else? When we become obsessed with the experiences of others, we easily miss what matters about us. And that's the sad thing about people who live through someone else. They fail to recognise what's important in themselves. If someone else is doing all the hard work and we are reaping the emotional reward, why should we put the effort towards happiness? When we are living vicariously through others, it becomes easy to put off working towards our own goals. And that's what you find people do. They don't even bother to do anything for themselves. They have someone who's doing it for them and they can say, oh, my girlfriend, my boyfriend is doing this. Or, you know, my mother, my daughter, my sister is doing this. And they're taking on all that accomplishment. Meanwhile, they're not doing anything. So people who live vicariously really need to self-reflect, ask themselves, what am I doing, regardless of how small, what am I doing to make my life better? What can I do that gives me a sense of achievement? You know, then you'll find maybe at some point somebody will want to live vicariously through them. But, you know, never kind of feel as though what you're doing is not enough. You do, as long as you're doing your best and you're doing, be, sorry, you're doing your best and you're good at your best, that is the most important thing. But don't, you know, some people just give up and, you know, they feel as though by having someone in their life who is achieving, they actually take on that achievement for themselves and they neglect themselves. So it is important for everybody to have their own sense of achievement. It's fine to feel proud and say, oh, my wife, my brother, my sister, my daughter, my son has done this. But then when you start taking on the whole thing and every single thing they're doing, and so you have something to do with it, then that is a problem because it means you're not looking inward to yourself for the best of who you can be. Um, and I think that's where I'm going to stop there for now. But I do hope that touching on this subject is useful and relevant. If it's not for you, it's for someone else. Take care now. Bye bye.